Ty, you mentioned underwriting. What is that? Underwriting is where we give all of the documents that you've provided us, photo ID, pay stubs, bank statements, um, a copy of the appraisal once it comes in. We give all of that documentation to another member of our team who's actually been certified and trained to review and determine if your loan is financeable based on the documentation provided. So that is, like, like you said, underwriting. And what the underwriter does is they'll go line by line over every document and every bit of information in the application to make sure that we are being truthful and correct in all things. So for example, on a bank statement, they'll review line by line on your bank statements. And if they notice, uh, for example, a child support payment coming out every month or a child support payment coming in, they might actually ask us, hey, can you check with the client and find out what that payment is or what's it from? Or um, they'll review your photo ID, make sure that it's a valid photo ID, make sure it's not expired, things like that. So they are basically the final sign off of all of the documentation that we've provided that we've gathered from you in the initial process to make sure that everything is correct. Um, once we have the appraisal in hand and the initial underwriting has been complete, the next step from there is called the initial CD or the initial closing disclosure. And what that is, is that is our doc department's uh, estimated version of what your final fees are gonna look like. They take the fee estimate that comes from the title and escrow company and they attempt to balance with it kind of a, ahead of time just to get a good idea of what that looks like. That document will go out to you electronically once you have uh, acknowledged that you've received it and reviewed it, we can then begin the clock to start working towards closing of escrow and getting the keys to your house. Once you e-sign that document, there are three calendar days that have to pass, excuse me, three business days have to pass. So the only day on the calendar that does not count would be Sunday. And then after that third business day, then you can actually get keys for your house if we were able to close on time. If title was ready, if the sellers were ready, um, if we've made it all the way through underwriting by that time, that's the soonest you can legally close. Um, what that means is, that as far as closing, you would go to the title company, you would sign all the documents, you would wire your final funds to the title company, your final uh, down payment, and then everything gets released and reviewed and sent up to the government and they sign off on it and you're a homeowner a few hours later.